The um, Italian journalist Oriana Falacci used to say that, that an interview is war and that it's a war in which sometimes the interviewee would win and sometimes the interviewer wins. But her idea of the interview was, was war. And I still believe that. I still believe that a good interview with someone with power has to be war, has to be a confrontation, has to be your point of view against their point of view. And, and if it's not war, if it's not conflict, if, it's, if there's no tension, then it'll never be a good interview. What do you think has been your most important interview to date? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's, it's just one interview. I would say that it's the attitude that I take in, in many of the interviews in which if I have to choose between being a friend or an enemy of the interviewee, I would rather be the enemy. Mm -hmm. I would rather have them know that I don't want to be their friend, that I'm a reporter. And, and if I can take that attitude with Fidel Castro, with Hugo Chavez, with the president of Mexico, with the president of the United States, that's the, um, I think that's my, my most important asset. Journalism gave me the opportunity to do a job in which your job description is to be a rebel and in which you will be forever young. In other words, if you allow technology to pass through you, if you don't use technology, and if you are not up to date with what's going on in the world, in other words, if you're not young, you will never be able to be a good reporter. So even if you're 70 or 80, you still can be a young reporter. So if you're a rebel and you're young, you can be a good reporter. Otherwise, you're going to be in the same category as dinosaurs and other species about to be extinct.